This video demonstrates how to rename an Excel worksheet using the Python library OpenPy Excel. This is actually very easy to do. It's really only one line of code wherein you're accessing a worksheet object's title attribute. Here we start off with our testing document wherein you can see one sheet in this workbook. We will be working with this sheet right here, sheet one, which we will be changing to budget FY25. I start off with loading in the workbook as WB and selecting Sheet 1 as WS. I will then be saving the work in the cell below. First, let's look at all of the current sheet names in the workbook using the workbook's sheet name attribute. This returns a list of all the sheet names in the workbook. Since I only have one sheet, you can see that I have only one item in this list, Sheet 1. To look at a specific sheet's name, all you have to do is look at the title attribute of the worksheet object. And here you can see that a single string of text is returned, the name of the one worksheet object. Changing the title is very easy to do. Knowing where the object's name is located, specifically in the title attribute, all I have to do is reassign that attribute a new string of text, which I will do right now with budget FY25. Let me now save the document and reopen it to see if the change took effect. And here you can see our test Excel file is returned with the new sheet name. Now you may be wondering what happens if you have a string of text that is too long. Let's see if we apply the logic that I just demonstrated to a much longer string of text. Namely, this one right here, a long string of text that will run beyond the allowed length of the sheet name. Executing this, we see that we are returned with an error. The title is more than 31 characters. Some applications may not be able to read the file. So as long as your string of text is less than 31 characters, you will be able to overwrite the current sheet name with the one you desire by following the steps that I have just displayed. Thank you for checking out this video. Please let me know in the comments if this was helpful and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help other people find these resources. And be sure you hit the subscribe button so that you always know when the next video becomes available.